Okay, hello, Coast fans. This is Coaster Films, and today I'm filming a video about Cedar Point and Kings Island prediction videos. So first off, I want to talk about Kings Island because, well, you see here, this is um, plot of land that they were moving Firehawk this year. I'm really sad. It's actually one of my favorite. It's my favorite um, uh, flying coaster so far. It's the one. It's actually one of my favorites at Kings Island. Kings Island. It's really fun, and I'm just kind of sad it's going. I kind of didn't want it to go, because Nighthawk is just crappy. These are the two. But it's okay, because I have some good news for you, I think. Because I because I think they're going to remove it. They're going to be able to use all this land over here to install a B&M Giga coaster. So it could, they could... I think it'll start somewhere over here near where the Firehawk starts. Travel out over here. Make its way over here and do some in some use this use this land kind of like I three or five and make a whole bunch of returns. They kind of went wind back up over here. So that's for Kings Island. Kings Island. Even the news has said they're going to get a giga coaster. So all those of you fans that think, nah, they're not going to get a giga because it's giga because they've been teasing for so long. But I think they're going to get. I'm going to put that piece of footage right now. Maybe. But the runner up for the ride most likely to be torn down is Firehawk. Now, this aerial shot posted by Kings Island Central Forum shows why. If Firehawk, that's right up there, is removed, look at this. The land is then combined with the old Dinosaurs Alive exhibit right below it. At that point, you have a huge area of land to build a giant giga coaster, which Kings Island is expected to build in the next few years. Okay, I should have been some time. Not should have been enough time to see the footage. So now we're gonna go talk about what Cedar Point could be getting. In well, this is 2020 predictions. My bad so if I didn't mention that. This is a this is 2020. This, I think we can go get 20, 2020. So let's go see what Cedar Point. I think Cedar Point will get in 2020. All right, I'm back, and I think what Cedar Point is gonna be getting for 2020 is here. It's gonna be located right here, where the old Streets of the Rapids stuff was. I can. Yeah, I think. You know what's going to be better than being a Giga? An RMC T-Rex Giga. I think they will put an RMC T-Rex Giga right in here. Right where the old Shoot the Rabbit station is. There's still space between this, when they put that there in this space from here. I think they'll have it come out. Probably go over the Millennium Forces first, these hills. And utilize all this land in between the Millennium Force And weave around it. And like, use this land over here, like a lot of it. And then have a break run and come back in over here. So that's what I think what it'll do at Cedar Point. It'll be awesome. It'll probably be even better than the B&M down at, down at Kings Island. That's a good thing for 2020, and I think that will really make, a, make Cedar Point and Kings Island like rival parks, so kind of make people kind of think twice about going to Cedar Point or Kings Island. I don't know. They got steel, with the steel benches, Cedar Point still be much more, much much more better to go to, but still, I'll make that'll be bet, much better than what Kings Island be getting. Anyways, so please like, please, please please comment, comment like, and please leave your opinion on my thoughts down below in the comment description. Thank you. Have a good day, Coaster fans. Bye.